Hi, Mom. Yeah. No, can you pick up Chris after school? Yeah, I'm, I'm at the doctor's. Mrs. Harris? Describe your symptoms. H hang on. Stress, headaches, nausea. Yeah, well, I work on Saturdays. And how long has this been? Equanimity. Balance your lifestyle. Hi, this is Christy Bean. Well, Christy Bean, thank you and welcome. My audience, I want you to know that I have an opportunity to talk to the real-life inspiration of the DVD movie, Miracles from Heaven. Christy, thank you for joining us. Oh, thank you for having me. Well, your DVD is already released. Um, uh, everybody in my audience told me about it. They had seen it. Uh, they were so excited they'd even seen it in the movies or uh, got their own copy. My show's a spiritual talk show, so you're talking to the right audience. I've got a few questions for you, and I'd love to ask you these questions from my audience. Okay. Okay. They want to know, just give us a little synopsis of the story first, and then I'll ask the question. Okay. Uh, when Annabelle, our middle daughter, we have three girls, when she was about four, she started having what we call tummy troubles. When she was five, she fully obstructed abdominally and had two major surgeries, and we almost lost her. Um, and that began the journey to where we eventually found out she had an incurable digestive disorder. She was on 10 medications a day, taken several times throughout the day. She lived on the sofa in the fetal position with a heating pad on her stomach. And we were in and out of doctor's offices, procedure rooms, hospitals, ERs, um, flying back and forth to Boston for help from the guru of pediatric gastroenterology. And then when we were in Boston, Annabelle actually said, Mommy, I want to die, and I want to go to heaven and live with Jesus where there's no more pain. And it wasn't long after that, Annabelle had a tragic accident on our property, and um, God answered the prayer of that little girl. When, the way you tell your story, you tell me that you're a person of faith. Yes, ma'am. Okay. So, we all have faith until it comes knocking at our door, that thing, that situation. How did you sustain your faith during that time when your daughter could possibly die? How do you do that? Well, you know, it was a struggle, and um, I asked a lot of questions. Um, I asked, you know, the, the typical, why me, why us, why her, are you there, are you watching this? Um, but, you know, I was raised um, in church and raised by a Christian family and was grounded in faith and a relationship with others and a relationship with the Lord. And so I, I just stood strong on what I knew and kept going back to the Word and trying to stay focused in prayer and rely on the help of others. How do you take that message to your child who hasn't had all those years of faith training? How do you do that? Or does she innately have faith? Annabelle did. Annabelle had a grace and a, a spirit about her that was um, amazing. She had such peace about her that at times I learned from her um, the, the comfort in just settling in the arms of the Lord and trusting that He was in control. I've got a question on my screen. The question is, when others around you don't believe, how do you shut that, that noise out? Hmm. Um, you know, I just continue to surround myself with those who do. And um, I feel like the more that you read things from others who do and ask for them to be a part of your life and you incorporate them in your life, um, the less that distraction from those who don't believe affects you. In the movie, it shows that Annabelle went to heaven. Tell me about that part of the movie. 
Um, in the movie, Annabelle has an experience in heaven um, that is actually different from the book Miracles from Heaven, which is the true story that I wrote that chronicles our family's journey. In the movie, she experiences um, beautiful uh, flowers and butterflies, and um, it's um, a very colorful, brilliant journey um, that she gets to go on. And in the book, what was different from the book? And the book is the truth. What happened in the, in the truth? Well, she um, went to heaven, and she sat on Jesus' lap, and she told him she wanted to stay because there was no pain in heaven. And he told her, Annabelle, I know you do, but I have plans for you on earth that you cannot fulfill in heaven. But when the firefighters get you out, there will be nothing wrong with you. And um, she just is amazing today. Why the why the difference between the book and the movie? I feel like it's really hard to be able to relay on screen someone's personal experience, such as like a heaven experience. And um, I think that they just did a, a masterful job um, trying to create it their way. And they did it in a way that it shared who Annabelle was, who her personality and her character and what her experiences were in life, and that was kind of how they portrayed it on screen. You say Annabelle was miraculously healed after uh, an accident that happened to her. How do you live with a miracle every day? Do you remember this? Or when hard times come, do you, do you go like I go, God, you know, you did this for Peter and Paul mm -hmm. and, and, and Thomas. I know you'll do it for me. Mm -hmm. Or do you just forget the miracle? I, I don't think there's a day that goes by that I don't look at Annabelle and, um, and acknowledge and give um, just glory to Him for what He's done. And also in times of struggle for myself when I'm having a hard day or a situation that seems way bigger than me, um, I'm reminded that He is in control and that He has a purpose and He has a plan. And that miracle that we watched Annabelle experience is the greatest reminder ever. Well, I want to thank all of you guys for chiming in on Facebook and Twitter for me. I got to as many questions as I can. The DVD is out already. It's called Miracles from Heaven. Christy Beam, your your story has been, I, I can't say enough about it. It's been very, very inspiring. I, and I'm sure everyone asks you, it must have been great to have Jennifer Garner play you and Queen Latifah in the movie. So there's some really good things happening to your family. Very wonderful. We are so grateful and so honored, and I'm just so happy that the movie is touching and, and the book is touching so many lives and, and bringing truth to so many hearts. Is there a follow-up? Um, I don't know just yet. <laughs> we love a good story now. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> Chrissy Bean, thank you. You've been so candid and so beautifully uh, presented. Thank you for being my guest uh -oh. of the Balder BB Show, and thank you for inspiring my audience. Thank you so much for having me.